Last week we we skipped Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, your your state, which I think which feels like it's slipping away from Democrats at this point. Mm -hmm. When when Mandela Barnes won the Democratic primary, uh, polls had him up by something like seven to ten. Yeah. Uh, against Ron Johnson, and I remember thinking he needs a. 12 to 15 point lead it was six weeks left against Johnson to feel comfortable with a the the likely three to four point polling error that, it, that you've, we've seen so many cycles now in a row in Wisconsin in in favor of the error in favor yep. of Democrats Republicans doing better but also Mandela Barnes it, it's it's one of the first uh, successes of the left in electing kind of quote unquote one of one of their own yep but uh, but, but Barnes really came from kind of the kind of cultural left mm -hmm. and, and kind of the activist left. Mm -hmm. And there was another um, candidate in the race, this guy, Tom, Tom Nelson, who's a, uh, a county commissioner. I forget which county. So a Trump county in Wisconsin that, that you would know of. Uh, he's a, like a Bernie crat. Mm -hmm. who kept winning a county executive as a, a lefty. He was most famous for uh, a, a, a paper plant shut down in the district. And he worked with the county and with the union and reopened the plant as kind of a worker-run business and uh, wrote, a, wrote a book about this turnaround, uh, remained you know, very popular in that area. If he would, I don't, and, I, and I wonder how Ron Johnson would be doing against him. He, he never really uh, took off in the primary. Everybody lined up behind Mandela Barnes. He kind of cruised. He's young. In the primary. Yeah. He's, 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 been, he's been marked as a rising is. star for, exactly. for a long time. But in order to win that kind of activist support over the years, you know, he has said and done a bunch of things that now Ron Johnson is uh, is is hammering him over, and it's and and the relentless negative advertising against him, seizing on defund the police and all this other stuff, does seem to be dragging him down in a way that it might not be able to have affected somebody like Tom Nelson. He's like, look, I I. I already won all of these Trump voters right. by standing up for workers. And some people might say that uh, Republicans are having a similar issue in the Wisconsin gubernatorial race, just from the different side, somebody mm -hmm. who's really in with the activist base in right. a way oh, that's yes. not going to appeal oh, yes. to the, the which, average Which voter. is the only shot that I think Barnes has, that Ron Johnson is such a weird... <laughs> bizarro figure. Well, it's an important point that the this is a state where the polls have been pretty off mm -hmm. um, in recent years. Ron Johnson famously had sort of been left behind by Mitch McConnell and uh, has a chip on his shoulder because of that. And Wisconsin polling has been, you know, it's been a question because of that for a long time. And, you know, people are aware of it now. But Mandela Barnes, my first thought when he won that race was about all of the activist stuff. Because if, when you're known as somebody, especially when you went through the year 2020, um, as somebody generally in the activist, the left activist camp, I was like, he's going to have all kinds of problems when the money starts coming in in September and after Labor Day. And that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what we're ha seeing happen in all of these different races. When Republicans start putting money behind a candidate and have the ability, uh, the opposition research um, in some of these states, they've had the wind at their back for the last month. And with a month to go, um, it seems to be trending in that direction uh, going forward. Right. I think 538 has... Johnson up by less, little less than two. Um, yeah. But if yeah. you're Barnes, you want to be up by three or four. More than, like, I mean, this, I would say more At this more point, than and you want to expand, you want, with momentum, yeah. you want to expand that. You want to be up, you know, eight, nine, going into election day to feel comfortable. What was Biden up in Wisconsin? Like eight, between yeah. eight and 17. A healthy different, lead. Different polls. Yeah. And he won it by, you know, tens of thousands. Right. Or according to Trump, he did not. <laughs> Yes. Trump is wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. In, in fact, all of the all of the courts uh, looked at Trump's challenges to Wisconsin and, and rejected them as without merit, including Lindsey Graham, who's like, "You say you won Wisconsin. Just give me a tiny bit of evidence that I can point to, <laughs> because I love nothing more than defending you." I mean, nothing. They get Although nothing. Wisconsin is uh, is a good example, though, of the Zuckerberg thing. all of the Zuckerberg yeah, yeah, yeah. money going into Democratic uh, counties intentionally. That said, right. um, which is a, which is a different way. That's it's that's like. Uh, organizing the structures right, to, your, right. to your benefit. Although, is right. Zuckerberg even a Democrat? <laughs> it depends right? on how you define Democrat. <laughs> he loves like Ben Shapiro and all those guys. Like those are the only people he hangs out with. I don't know. I That's mean, they, they're like Zuckerberg won it for Democrats. I'm like, really? Since when is Zuckerberg a Democrat? This is weird. I thought I mean, he's like no. a libertarian kind of curious right wing dude. He's a surfer. 
Is he? I can't see. You don't remember that? See, this is the death of monoculture that we started the show talking about. There's a super viral picture of uh, Mark Zuckerberg with all of the, uh, you remember it now. I can't, yes, I I just can't get the picture of him in a uh, truck in Iowa when he was pretending he was going (laughs) to run for president. He went to a truck stop in Iowa. Yeah, that one's burned into the brain. It's like, so teach me how to AI this truck. (laughs) Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.